Hi, what's the potato and pints over the weekend? Uh, the last one I did was Friday, it was a line drawing with black acrylic ink of the old oak tree, or a different version of it. <coughs> now today, or this morning, I want to try to do or make up uh, a sort of highland scene the time based on the watercolour I did last week. Well, I don't know where the watercolour's gone. Uh, but anyway, this board I've prepared in the way that I, I, I've shown in a video, with the exception of the surface. I've got all my primer on, my PVA diluted glue, the uh, plaster of Paris and the filler, the household filler, ready mixed. And when it was all evenly spread about, I tried various ways to texture it. And what I, what I did in the end was with a piece of, uh, uh, I can't find it now, but, but cloth, a bit of linen cloth, that I, I made into a, a tamper. And I went all over it before it dried. And I got this lovely surface. So apart from keeping your watercolours to paint acrylics on or oil, uh, you can uh, keep your old rags and use them to tamp your board to give this lovely, lovely texture which is not mannered, it doesn't form a pattern like a machine finished uh, board. So, uh, like you can see, we'll invent some mountains. I was talking to somebody at the sale of work, we had a ta table sale in, uh, in our local church and uh, I didn't do very well, I sold one, but uh, it was a dead loss, we did, didn't get enough publicity really. But I was having an interesting conversation with a friend about, uh, well, uh, do, do, do your pictures tell a story? And I thought, well, no, they don't really. I don't have a narrative, I just, uh, I just, I just paint, just make them up as I go along. And... Uh, And I give them a title, and, the, and they will be wherever I say they are. My narrative is is um, the British landscape. It's my my great love, and I, I paint it. That's the story. If my paintings help people to become more aware of their environment, I'm not a lefty or anything like that, or even a, a save the planet. Like, but uh, I appreciate the landscape for what it is and for the facility, the, the, the recreational value, the, the spiritual aspects of landscape. That's my story. Now, what a nice colour, the colour sky. By spraying the, the board, it gives it a bit of a, a, a lubrication. You can use your PVA glue. Well, let's uh, mix a bit of grain with that. Bit down here. So I'm using a two inch, no, an inch and a half varnish brush, Pro Art, Hog. Great brushes for, for laying in. I'll get some light in there in a minute. Just want to feel my way as I usually do. Just work my way in. Let's, let's put a bit of mountain in. Let's, let's go bold with the, with the colours. Right, okay, let's put a bit of blue in with, with this here over here.
Right, so we've got some nice colours there. Uh, we'll put a bit of land in now. Uh, so we'll go a bit of black, a bit of red, a bit of lemon yellow. That's more dark, maybe dark green, black, lemon yellow, and a bit of red in there. Just, just add some reflection there. Oh, I've got to fill in at the background, so we have a bit of blue with that. A bit symmetrical at the moment, but I want some dark to uh, counter change. Okay, so we'll put red in there. Oh, that would be a bit. Oh, I've got a hair there. A lot of work to do on the sky, but we're just just in the sort of laying laying in in uh, mood at the moment. Let's just. Well, I'm not going for realism. I'm going for for an abstract approach, but I want this dark so that I can counter change the light against it. Red, black. Now this will dry in a minute. Right, let's get a nice light cloud up there in the middle of this bit of white. Coming over these hills. Oh, luscious, luscious paint. Just scumbling over the high spots here. And we can carry that through into the, uh, into the landscape here. Catching the evening light, I suppose. Keep that orange going through. It's the great thing about the critic. It's uh, it does. Uh, it dry fairly quickly which gives you uh, plenty of scope for fast painting. Let's just come down here with, it, with this sort of field, whatever. Get some red. Over here. Right, okay, that's, uh, I'm demonstrating acrylic in three weeks time for a friend's arts art club. So I can need a lot of practice. Last time I did before them was oil and I thought I was going to do watercolour. Having practiced all the wet in wet for so long. But I, I think um, that Acrylic paint is not taken seriously, as is oil, but I 
I don't really know why. It's, it's hard to sort of change from what has been for years the uh, the benchmark of painting, the use of oil, so traditional. And acrylic's been around for a long time. Now I need to, I need that drying off a bit. So we'll, we'll work on the water. The sky is okay for the minute. It's all these lovely colours, these brilliant, brilliant uh, orange and, and cadmium red and the lemon yellow and the white and the, and the alizarin. They're just beautiful, beautiful colours. I've got to strengthen up that bit there maybe. Uh, well, I'll do that now. Well, I'm at it. Let's just get that. Get some dark in down here. Keep your brushes clean. I've got to use the inch and a half one. It'd be nice if I could finish it with just one brush. Right, let's get the, a nice orangey cast on the on the water. Plenty of uh, plenty of white. I'll put some reflection in some of this, but just want to get the, uh, the sky just through there. Look how it's dry brushing over the uh, over the water, over, over the uh, the scumbling, like the texture paste, the, the homemade texture paste. Let's get that in. We've got all the colours in this. Right, that's not quite right there. But we're getting when that dries, I'll, I'll bring in some reflection in that. I just want to sort out some of this here. So we'll have a bit of bit of nice greeny in there. Now, no narrative, this doesn't exist. It's just having fun with the paint. And the story is the British landscape, or landscape anywhere. Look at that green back in there. Now, I want that darker in there. Got some good, good dark in this bit here. The shadow, shadowy. So, I'm red. Black, lemon yellow. So there's plenty of colour in, in it, even though it doesn't look like it. But I'll just, ah, oh, that's better. Not a colour. Now I'm using the Stay Wet palette, the, the Masterson that uh, I saw demonstrated by Cro a rep from Chroma Colour many, many years ago. And it's a very durable
Well, I've had it for 12, well, it must be 25 years. It hasn't had a lot of use, because I haven't really done a lot of acrylics. But I'm making up for that now. Now let's get, get this here, get some colour in there. I can't show you the mixing. I'm just mixing black, red, uh, and the, the lemon yellow just to get these dark notes in here and there so that I can counter change the light against the dark. So, so let's just drag down into that. Just a little bit of light in the back in there. No, dark back in there. Oh, what I was going to say about the palette, Alan Owen uh, suggested that I used um, used uh, tissue paper in the bottom underneath the membrane, the one-way membrane. Membrane. Lets the water through from the bottom, and the paint doesn't go through the membrane to the to the tissue. I, I was using sponges. And the, the stuff that uh, Masterson supply it with with the the paper, but or the membrane, but the kitchen foil seems to hold the right amount of water, and it doesn't thin out the paints, it doesn't soak up too much water. So these are really thickening with a bit of evaporation, and it's I mean, it's quite quite a lovely texture. It's thickening up like oil paint. So I share that with you. Uh, we'll change that a little bit. I'll just put a bit of reflection in there. I really should have. Uh... Oh, well, I can change that. I'll just change, change that. So that line goes all the way across. I can drag in some other colours over that. Now, now I've got that dark on the left here. Let's enhance it a bit. I can. I'll uh, just put in a bit of a beach there, but I can put some light colour on the top. So let's go in with the yellow, some yellow, well, yellow ochre, and some some burnt, uh, raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna and raw sienna, or yellow ochre and raw sienna. Let's just get this in. Just put in a bit of orange in there. And I can put in some foliage on that bank. Warm, ready, orangey, greeny stuff. And, oh, let's uh, darken it a bit with some red. Black in there as well. Love black. Makes wonderful rich greens with the lemon yellow, cadmium yellow. Mm. 
when this dries I can drag over it a bit. Put a bit of detail here just to suggest some grasses and bits of stuff, but I might even put some rocks in there. Right, it's okay, how are we doing? Is it all right? Well, it's looking quite quite reasonable. But I just want to put in some of this sort of riffle, this green dark in here. Just drag it down. Okay, now we can uh, get rid of that brush. Let's try some bit of dark green in there just this reflection and we can put the lights back so it's just it's just very dark green red black oh, I'll show you oh, there's my my greeny mixes but black red black more black so there's plenty of color in that it's not black, it's just a dark colour. Let me just drag that down there. Okay. We can put a little bit of light in there, just catch in. Some of that there. Bit of lighter green in in there. Okay, uh, we need something there really. That's just a bit a bit, bit murky there. So we'll we'll add some nice nice light from the sky mm, not that. that's a bit of colour this is an abstract this is making it up as you go along Let's get a bit of bit of white in there and that yellow. Nice bit of bright in there. Uh, soft, so I keep things soft. So I managed to do there really, but uh, we can just carry on up here. Brighten a bit, clean the brush. Well, I want to thicken, thicken up the sky now, thicken up these lovely colours here, the orange and the alizarin and the yellow. Just drag some of that light over these slopes here. Fill in there because that will show outside the frame. I've got a frame ready to put it in. Just catching that orange, orange light.
Soften that edge. Okay, so that light is catching this cloud. I'm not sure where the light's coming from, but. I'm not too bothered, let's just get that light on there. Light on the, on the landscape, I suppose. Right, I'm just filling that right hand triangle that of the, here. That's a, Right, just build the water now. Let's, do, let's enhance the light. Let's get that. Well, oh, I need the orange. Let's just drag that all the way through that. Just show a little bit of that uh, background colour. And then we've got a nice red. Shining through there. Okay, so... Shall we try to put in some little buildings along the shoreline somewhere? Oh, I've got a brush that will do that. Ah, uh, oh, yes, I have. Right, so bit of bit of white or off white. Yeah, let's just. Uh, A little village at the head of this uh, lake. Oh, we can have some here. No detail, just some hints of some stucco buildings. Okay, that'll do. Right, we'll put it in a, in a frame and see what we've made of that. It's very, very colourful. Uh, which is rather strange really, because it's just been a funeral. Sorry, so apologies to my all-American friend who can't understand a word that I say because of my South London accent. Do apologise. But he likes he likes what he hears anyway. So no looking. Put it in. Put it in here. 
See, this is this is painting for painting, trying to paint attractive landscapes. Uh, so there's something that's quite. Uh, yeah, that, that that seems to to work okay. Uh, but it cheered me up. I hope it's cheered you up. It, I've got a really nice texture on that. And if I get fed up with looking at these in a while, like weeks, I can always paint over them. I think that is a bit too solid, that line there. But I'm not going to change it because it's reflecting that lovely warm light coming through the, the landscape. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, bring you around a bit and we'll, we'll go into it a bit. Right, okay. So let's, let's start in the sky. You see, you can, and where you can see that texture. Loads and loads of, of ethereal colour. The texture in the, in the, on the board is like a, another painting. Oh, there we are, distant hills there. Yeah? I've actually painted them blue. Or mauve. And then as we come down to the landscape, look, look at all these greens, all made with black. Oh, they're lovely yellow uh, greens there. But your eyes might not see that. Let's come across the lake. And go back down to the beach very simple no detail just suggestions all right okay so we zoom out and have a last look at that i reckon that's good enough for youtube i'll go and load it up um it's a fantasy a caprice uh Yeah, I'm not going to muck about with it anymore. I, I quite like it. I hope you do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.